Hi everybody, long time no see. It's me, Laura, and I'm so glad to see you. How are you all? I've missed you so much. I've been going through a lot of like changes that I've just needed to go through. I've always been a all or nothing with YouTube type of person. I either want to commit to a consistent schedule and stick to it, or I just won't post at all. So I did have a very, very hard think as to do I have enough time to start up YouTube again and stuff like that. And I do think that I'm at a point in my life where there is a fluff just there. Um, I'm at a point in my life where I think that I can commit to YouTube, but I can commit to YouTube on a regular basis, like actually put aside a certain amount of time each week to edit, film, stuff like that, like how I used to. Um, I think I touched on this in another video, but I'm not too sure if I did or didn't. When I used to post more consistently on YouTube, I did work at a different job where I caught the train for an hour each way every day of the week. So I basically had 10 hours where I could edit while going to work. So killing two birds with one stone. I should probably get started on my makeup or else we're never gonna finish. I'm gonna start off with the Too Faced Hangover RX primer. But before, for my moisturizer, I was using the Dermalogica Active Moist as well as the It Cosmetics Confidence in an Eye Cream. So I'm just gonna move on to my Too Faced Hangover RX. So yeah, I used to have about 10 hours a day where I could like edit like any video and then I'll just film like either on a Sunday morning or a Sunday morning before I went out. So that was all working fine and great for me. Like obviously I was doing it while I was at uni. So when I'd go to uni, I'd edit on the train and stuff like that. And I had more time because I wasn't working full time. But while working full time and posting more regularly, I did edit on the train which was really convenient for me. And I just felt like it was just such an easy thing to do. But now that I, instead of catching the train to work, I need to drive to work, that 10 hours of my time has been consumed driving to work. And obviously I can't drive and edit. That's just not possible, that, that's no. Um, <laughs> so I had to think really, really long and hard of how I can accommodate editing into my week and it's taken me quite some time to work it out but I finally have so I'm really really excited for it so hopefully you guys like the content that I put out um I will be a little bit rusty at the start but I will be improving as I go because I'm trying to learn like some more final cut pro techniques and stuff like that like mind you this is still my hobby like I don't do this as like a job or anything like that so I don't think there will be like any like mass production show like amazingness but I will do my best um, and I will post regularly. Um, I am aiming for at least a video a week. And then once I start the consistency of one video a week, I want to move to two videos a week. I've been loving the Milani Conceal and Perfect foundations. I'm just going to see which one matches my fake tan today. I've only got two shades. I'm just going to use a bit of both. I have shade three and shade six. So I kind of just use a combination of each. And I'm just taking that on a Zoeva 104 buffer brush. I'm just going to take a little bit. I'm just going to take half a pump of each. And when I need more, I'll add more. But yeah, so that's kind of like where I've been. It's just that quite a large chunk of my time got consumed when I did change jobs. And I did have quite a lot pre-filmed. So like, that's why you didn't notice it happened straight away. I was just like, you know, I can't keep doing it how I'm doing it. So I had to change. I had to stop for a while and kind of just reevaluate all the things that I do and stuff like that. But I'm so happy to be filming again. Um, I did purchase a ring light about six months ago. So I'd always had intentions of coming back. But I just didn't know when I'd have the best time for it, I guess. And, oh my gosh, all the YouTube drama happened that kind of made me not want to come back. I was like, oh my gosh, like, how are so many things happening? Like, why can't it just be about the makeup? I don't know. I don't know why it can't just be about the makeup, because that's the YouTube community that I fell in love with. That's what I became obsessed with. And it is not in any way, shape or form that anymore, which is really, really unfortunate. I think that's also a contributor as to why I stopped because I feel like that sense of community wasn't there anymore. Also, um, apologies if you can see like clutter in the background or like my mirror, like how you can see everything in it. I'm trying to work out how to make my setup look better, but at the moment I'm just not there yet. 
I'm just going to be using my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye just a little bit. And I'm just going to apply that underneath both my eyes. And then I'm just going to blend it out with my Beauty Blender. I've been loving that as my corrector recently. It covers up so much. My lighting is quite harsh. I'm still getting used to it, so I'm sorry if it doesn't look normal right now, but I am trying to adjust it as I go. But things are just looking very bright on it. I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay Eden Primer Potion. I'm just going to apply a little bit of that on my eyelids. And I already have my brows filled in from work, so I'm just going to touch them up ever so slightly. I don't even know if this concealer is still available, but this is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. And I have mine in the shade Fair. Oh wow, that looks really, really light on camera. I promise you, in real life, it isn't that light. But for some reason, my lighting is making things look way lighter than what they actually are. But yeah, so when I started my YouTube channel, it was all about people sharing their experiences with makeup and not about like all this tea spilling and like like why do you want to spill tea anyway like tea stains and i don't know i just i just don't think tea is a good thing to spill in my opinion i just want to know what is good and what is not good and spread the word of things that i have tried things that i will try Stuff like that. I do like anti-holes though. They're something that I do like that's recently come out. Not that long ago. I mean, not that short time of ago. What am I talking about? Oh my God. I'm just gonna do a little bit of quick cream contouring. Um, I know this product isn't available anymore, but I'm gonna use it anyway. This is the Cover Effect Sunset. I'm literally crying inside that this is discontinued because I love this product so much. And I didn't actually know it was discontinued until I watched, um, I don't know how to pronounce her name, like Samantha Razendol, I think it is. But yeah, so I do plan on filming a lot more on my channel. I want to do like more reviews, more skincare reviews, especially because I feel like that is something that I've really found a love for in the last short while. Probably not hair because I will never be good at hair like let's be honest I will never be good at hair but like skincare even like fashion because I guess fashion is everyone's own personal preference it's not this is right this is wrong because everyone has their own style on it right at least that's how I interpret it so maybe some fashion stuff who knows I feel like this is really really bright because it's making my under eyes look really really bright but let's see what it looks like when it's set with powder for under my eyes, I'm using my Maybelline Matte Maker. I feel like I've been using this for years. Like, honestly, I reckon since 2015. Um, this one is like an almost new one, as you can see. But I promise you that I love this stuff. Like, here is another one that I have, and I literally have almost none left, and it's really, really hard to use. I normally use the Fenty Eyeshadow Primer. I hadn't used that Urban Decay one in a long time, so I just decided to use it. I love setting my face with this powder from Maybelline because I really feel like my makeup stays in place. Like I sometimes use like a different powder just so I can use like the powders in my collection up, but nothing compares. Like this just makes my makeup stay on so much longer than other powders. And I don't really know why. Like even like, like this powder is like longer lasting than my RCMA powder. And it's not even that my skin gets oily, it just helps the foundation not wear away. I'm just gonna take a little bit of NARS Barley and I'm just gonna touch up in my eyebrows where I kind of want it to be a bit more defined. Just cause during the day, I feel like my brow pencil does fade a bit. I've been using one that I'm not the biggest fan of. And I wanna do like more like special occasion makeup and stuff like that. Because like so many of my friends are getting like engaged and married and I'm just so happy for them but because a lot of them are like more distanced weddings I have to pack so I just kind of want to have like a look that I can just have packed and ready to go I don't really know what I want to do on the eyes but I kind of want to use like my Jeffree Star palettes because honestly they haven't been getting the love that they deserve like they deserve so much love and I don't feel like I've been giving it to them. 
So this one's Beauty Queen and this one's Androgyny. I don't have any of the new ones purely just for the fact that I don't use these ones. So I couldn't justify buying others. So I really want to get more use out of these so I can buy the other ones. <laughs> um, I don't really know what I want to do. Oh, I just picked up Charmed, which is this color here. I'm just going to put this like, I don't know, maybe in my crease and we'll see how it goes. Oh, that's pretty. It's not going to go with what I'm wearing, but not like I'm going out anywhere anyway. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I'm not like amazing at makeup, so don't expect like anything like wow from me, but I do try my best. And I'm just going to put this like above my crease because I do have more hooded eyes. I feel like this is one where I should have done my makeup, like my base makeup after my eyeshadow. I kind of want to just put that all over my lid and call it a day. Like, is that really bad? Not that I wasn't expecting it to be. Like, I'm I'm acting like I'm surprised. But I'm just surprised that this colour looks so nice on my face. If that's, like, if that even makes sense. Because I've never put, like, a colour this on my face before. Like, obviously, being Jeffree Star, I knew it was going to be good. I'm going to use Deja Vu and I'm going to put that over my lid. Like, in, like, the centre. And bring it inwards. Oh, my God. I feel like the biggest derp. I thought I was recording, but my camera cut out, so I have no idea where any of that stopped, so I'm so sorry, but I basically just used a little bit of frosting on my eyelid, just on the inner corner, and then pulled it in just to give it a bit more lightness and a bit more dimension to my eye. Because I do have hooded eyes, I do like to keep the inner portion of my eye quite light and quite bright, because it just makes them just appear a little bit bigger. And then I just applied a little bit of mascara. Hopefully that's all you missed out on. But if you did miss out on anything else, then I'll include it in the down bar down below. So moving on to lashes, I'm going to use these ones today. These are by Kiss and they're called Sultry underscore A. I haven't used these ones in specific, I don't believe. But I do have the Page Boy style and I love those. I have them in a five pack. I absolutely love them. But I'm going to be using these ones today. They're just beautiful and wispy. And they are more tapered at the end. So they have a more natural look to them apparently. And I'm just going to use my Duo Lash Glue. So I'll be right back once my lashes are stuck on. Okay, I am back. My lashes are on. I am slightly, like ever so slightly disappointed. Um, they look quite nice, like on the eye when I look down and stuff and they definitely add volume but they're nowhere like my page boy lashes where they just like I don't know they must just be curled a bit more like I don't think there's anything wrong with the length of these but I feel like it's the curl of them that isn't there unfortunately so I don't think I would buy these again just because the curl in them is quite lame I think these are good everyday lashes but they weren't what I was expecting so that's rookie error on my part I'm gonna move on to my face so I'm just gonna be using my benefit cheek leaders bronze squad palette <laughs> I mind blanked on that one what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take a little bit of hula which is this one right here and I'm gonna apply that to my face just gonna put it like underneath the chin and stuff as well it's just making me look very bronzy I'm taking the tiniest touch of hula caramel and I'm just going to put it in my contour. Just to add a bit of depth is really all I want. Another thing I want to tell you guys about is my weight loss journey. So I think I might leave it for another video. Only because this video will become like a million hours long. But I do want to tell you guys about my weight loss journey. What I'm doing. What I have been doing. Stuff like that. So I might actually properly sit down and plan that video. I'm just going to take a little bit of Cookie. Which is the highlighter in this palette. I haven't really used this highlighter all that much since i've gotten this palette to be honest like it's kind of like my neglected shade oh my god what okay how is this the neglected shade why did i not go straight into it i do kind of wish that i layered like another highlighter underneath it just because i feel like it's very impactful so i feel like it could have done with a highlighter underneath actually you know what that's exactly what i'm going to do on the other side just to try it out i'm going to use the master chrome by maybelline i love this one i'm just going to apply it with this brush just a fan brush i love this it's got such a golden tone so that's the side with just cookie that is the side with the maybelline and then i'm going to top it 
Oh my god, that's beautiful. It like gives it like the most gorgeous champagne intensive shift. Wow. So that's it on its own. That's it mixed with the Maybelline. So it can be used to like not dull down but reduce the yellowness of some highlighters as well. Oh my god, that's beautiful. I'm just gonna take a stippling brush and I'm just gonna kind of like tap at the center of my face because as always I bring my highlighter way too in. <laughs> when it really shouldn't be okay i have no idea what lipstick to use i feel like i want to use mannequin from jeffree star but i don't think it's going to be dark enough i'm just going to add a little bit of buffy okay i think i might just leave it at that so that's it for today's video guys i hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it definitely don't forget to like and subscribe because i'll be posting more videos very very soon and comment down below what you'd like to see from me next because i'd love to hear what you would, what you guys would like to see oh my goodness i'm getting so tongue-tied okay i'm gonna go now because i really don't know how to wrap this up so yeah bye